My name is Martin Bean. I'm the very proud Vice Chancellor of the Open University. I'm also Australian, and for those of you that would like the cricket score, please come and see me afterwards because I, I am right now a very happy Vice Chancellor on this uh, on this sunny afternoon. So uh, I was I was a little bit happier earlier in the day, but I'm still relatively happy. So look, everybody, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you, uh, and and to welcome you to the Open University. It's been a a, a pleasure. Um, to be here today to join with you in opening um, such a beautiful garden and as I said on such a, a magnificent day when I first arrived in the UK four years ago this was exactly what the weather was like and the first comment I had was I cannot believe everybody complains about the weather here so uh, and then four years later I understood why so um, I think it was actually Cicero who said that if you have a garden and a library you have everything you need in life as many of you will have seen on your way in today, we already have an amazing library at, right here on campus. Um, so I think it's fair to say that by ancient Greek standards, at least the OU is now pretty well set between our, our library and our garden. In a moment, we'll have the opportunity to have a look around, but it's important to remember that what you'll see here today is just the latest incarnation of this garden. I'm told there has actually been one here on this site for at least 100 years now. Uh, when the university moved here back in the late 60s, the garden was repurposed to grow crops for the home experiment kits we used to send to our, our science students. Uh, so this is a place that has a very real link to the Open University of the past, and I'm delighted to say that from this day forward, it has an equally strong link to the Open University of tomorrow. Because when you step through this gate and look around inside, you'll see that this is very much a garden of the future. The plants, trees and flowers here are still new and they're still young. But in the years to come, they will grow, they will blossom and they will bloom. And thanks to your generosity, generations of students will grow, blossom and bloom right alongside this garden. This is a garden for the future and yours is a gift for the future. A commitment not only to the Open University but to the students who, as we stand here today, might not have ever begun to consider the possibility of higher education. Every year we reach out to tens of thousands of people who have always thought, who perhaps sadly have been told, that university simply wasn't for the likes of them. Every year we teach hundreds of thousands of people from communities across the four nations of the United Kingdom. And every year we touch the lives of millions of people around the world in a myriad of different ways. Our researchers develop new ways to educate the children of tomorrow, uncover new aspects of our shared history, and even unlock the secrets of distant galaxies. Our TV and radio productions and our open online resources reach out around the globe to explain the mysteries of everything from autism to climate change to the credit crunch. Our international projects are supporting health workers in Africa, training teachers in India and giving the gift of the English language to millions of men, women and children in Bangladesh. And of course, there's our incredible graduates. Our graduates become the scientists who, incur who cure incurable diseases. They become the teachers who extend a hand to unteachable kids, the social workers who bring hope to families who have none, and the entrepreneurs who create the jobs in industries that don't yet exist. The Open University, its staff, students, and researchers achieve incredible things. Now, thanks to your generous gifts, that amazing work will quite literally be your legacy. It's a legacy that you and your loved ones can be immensely proud of. And this garden is but one small gesture to show just how grateful we are for your support. So on behalf of the university, all of our students, past, present, and especially those of the future, it gives me great pleasure to dedicate this site to, your, to our generous supporters and officially declare the OU Legacy Garden open. And what I'd like you to do now is to come with me to take a look inside, but I suspect by what's next to me, Edith, is now when I'm meant to do something, Edith is giving me that, that impatient look. As, as I move there, though, there is a group of individuals sitting right over here 
who are like proud parents watching this garden open today. They are members of our, our estates team, who I don't know if you've noticed as you've walked around this university just how beautiful um, our gardens are, how privileged all of our staff are to work in such a wonderful environment. Um, I'd like you, before I open this, to just give them a round of applause because they're the ones that make this happen. And I'd just like to say thank you. And it's, it's good to see you all. And uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow to talk about the cricket as we're getting ready for the day. All right, which side? This side? Okay. All right, have we got the cameras at the ready? This is like a one-shot deal. Are we ready? All right, here we go. All right, yay, round of applause.